My name is Hari Nair. I belong to a firm called InnoCite. Uh, it was founded by a Harvard University professor, Clayton Christensen. Um, he's quite famous for writing a book called Innovator's Dilemma, and um, the firm InnoCite was actually set up by him to really take his concepts of disruptive innovation and, and take it across the world. Godridge is a 114-year-old company, uh, and we've been into the locks, the furniture, the refrigerators, uh, and one of the largest uh, private companies in India. Uh, and we've been all the time working on innovations uh, that meet the needs of the Indian users, because we know the Indian users, the Indian customers the best. We started helping them develop a, a very interesting uh, concept to go after refrigeration in India. The idea of Chotukul came from 80% of the users in India are not using a refrigerator. They don't have access to a refrigerator. So is there a way that we can give them an access? There are three or four fundamental innovations in Chotokul. Number one, the technology. It's not compressors, but it is solid state cooling. Number two, the design. It's not a traditional refrigerator with a front opening door, but it's a small product. Number three, the way we reach out to the people. So we tied up with NGOs, we have tied up with the India Post, because you have to reach it out to a very well distributed uh, uh, you know, user base, which is all in the rural area. And finally, the way you communicate this to the people is also an innovation. So this is how the Chotopool becomes a very innovative concept. What's really interesting about this is that just like Edison, Edison integrated an entire system. You know, he, not just with a light bulb, he, he created all the, the systems that go into creating, you know, providing electricity and providing you know, that across a, a community. I think that's what Godridge has done here. It's a product, but it's actually designed with an entire business model around it, which targets the right consumers you know, who need this product. The people who use it uh, are people uh, who have small families. Uh, they don't have a lot of disposable income. So they use it for the daily use items, keeping a few bottles of water, some milk, a uh, little bit of vegetables, some slight leftover foods and things like that. But we also have a different segment of users. These are the small shops. So they use this product and keep things and then sell. Maybe they sell water, they sell milk, uh, and they sell a lot of things like that. And they earn money in the process of selling this. So we are not only making an impact to the living standard of the people, but we are in some sense creating the livelihood for the people who use this product. So Chotukul actually impacts the inclusive growth as it is being called. When you actually been to these uh, villages, and I've actually seen shopkeepers who have bought the Chotukul, and it's they can literally tell you in, in, real, in real numbers how much money that they're making more because they have now a product that can serve colder products, like colder sweets and things like that, where people are willing to pay a slightly more amount than buying it at room temperature. Or, or, you know, so that, this is a very fascinating discovery that you know, retailers are actually one of the big adopters of this product, small retailers. So the whole idea of Chotukul is to cool it just right. If you do the just right, it's not only that it is good for the, the food, the vegetables, uh, because the humidity is better in the product, it is good for the planet, it is good for the earth, because you consume a more proportionate amount of the uh, resources, uh, energy, and in all sense. So the Chotukul as an innovation symbolizes the concept of just right, and just right is what is the future. Given how they've gone about this product, not just focusing on the product, but the entire system, it's a testament to what Edison did. So I, I really believe that you know it's a real um, in, uh, innovative approach to taking on a very important problem in India and other markets. This technology is going to go from the early users and less sophisticated users to more sophisticated users. And we are on the way with a nanotechnology-based chips working towards this cooling at some day. Uh, the growth of this technology will reach it out not only to the bottom of the pyramid and the Indian users, but probably across the world, changing the landscape of cooling in the world.